What's up, everybody? You see the title? It's the thumbnails. Today we are talking about minor attractive person maps. These people are pedophiles and they are trying to normalize this deviant behavior. It is a sickness. And they are even having people, professional therapists and professors that I actually now bringing this into the forefront and bringing this into the into academia all right so this is what we are talking about we ain't gonna get paid no monetization for this video i'm sure let's go all right so first we're gonna talk about is map when you see this when you see this map on any kind of profile on Tumblr or anything. That is a danger. Run. Okay. This is minor attractive person. These people, 99% of men. Okay. 99% of them. Okay. Were abused when they were little. Okay. And I gave them no right to abuse other people, children. Okay, and these people here right now and their allies, okay, these people are pedophile adults who are sexually attractive to and around, to and they're aroused by minor children. Okay, think about that. They are aroused by children. Okay, some of them are children. They, I mean, these people are, they, this is becoming so normalized that they have different category for these people. Different category. Like, it is absolutely disgusting. Pedophilia is a crime. Pedophilia preys on the most vulnerable population we have, which are children, unable to give consent. Okay? So, you got two kind. Okay? You have maps, M A P, with a small S, and you have no maps. That's it. Non offending man attractive person so these people say we attractive to kids but we keep our hands to ourselves except the fact that they are aroused see any parent that think a person on a dot will be aroused by that four year old that two year old that six year old is a sick individual okay that is an act arousal is an act it starts in the mind these people need help they need therapy and they don't need this, don't need to be destigmatized, it needs to be stigmatized, it needs to continue to be against the law. And it cannot be normalized. Pay attention, those of you like myself that have children, okay, what to see on social media and everything. And the worst part about this is these people are trying, first and foremost, they're trying to gain acceptance within the LGBT community. Let me make this very clear. There is no, there is in no way, shape, or form. Are these people being endorsed by L the LGBT community? I have seen no evidence that the LGBT community support these people. Many of them are disgusted by. They believe that these people should be castrated. They should be. They should be a crime. Okay, and it's a crime. Pedophilia is a crime. Okay, so I want to make that very. Clear. See, the LGBT community don't need any more enemies. Okay, they don't need. They don't need more letters to begin with. Okay, and they don't need more enemies, and these people are criminals. Okay, but let's bring this back to this. Okay, the maps. Okay, they've been using social media like Tumblr and Facebook. Okay, to meet up, to create support group, to talk to each other. There is actually a petition on Tumblr for them to have opening expression. So there's a petition for them to openly express themselves online or to be to have them removed. I'm in support of the removal. Okay. So the no maps, N O M A P and the maps, M A P S has allies the in media, in politics, and in academics. We will see them in academics. Okay, but in the media, okay, we have people talking about remember, every one of you got the whole born this way. Love is love. Okay. What, what, what doesn't matter what people do in the privacy of their home in a bedroom? This is how that starts. You see, that was the small hail, the snow, the small snowball 
the land through a big avalanche. Okay, when everybody's out talking about born this way, love is law. Doesn't matter who you love as long as you are loving. Well, now it got to the point where people that is attractive to children are openly requesting acceptance and are on meet online. And now they have academics, okay, academics like professors, clinical licensed psychologists are promoting this idea that they, they, they don't, they can't help to like who they like, they don't help to, to be attractive who they be uh, to be attractive to. Okay, that it shouldn't be stigmatized. It should be seen as any other sexual orientation. This is how everything, this is how we go. It's not over yet. Okay, it's not over yet. When we start giving in, that's what happened. When we start talking about love is love, okay, born this way, you get this form. Because now you have these people saying, I don't choose to be attracted to children. I don't choose to be aroused by children. Okay, this is how that happens. Okay. That's how you get the whole bathroom bills. You know, people want to have gender neutral bathroom to have everybody, anybody into the bathroom with your children. That's a problem. Okay. And one of the big thing is one of the questions I would like to ask you, are we responsible for our feelings and action? You know, is, is that something you believe you're responsible for? I believe I'm responsible for my feelings and my action, especially my action. Okay. That means conscious and unconscious response if i'm aroused by a child that is a that is a problem for me and i am responsible for that and it needs to be addressed okay that is how sick this is all right and i just wanted to bring that to your attention we are going to like I, I got videos of psychologists and professor talking about this and we will go into that right now but i am telling you everybody all these pedophiles are responsible for their actions. They're responsible for their thoughts and their feelings. Okay. And we need to put a stop to this before it, I mean, it's already on. Now, the biggest, the biggest hope we got is not actually the cis men or the heterosexual people. This is going to be a fight for the LGBT community, the LGBTQ community, because they want to add another letter. Okay. So, Let's go into this video and you guys get to watch a little bit. These people actually put this out there and they are openly expressing this. And when we don't fight back, one day our children will be being taught this. Okay, let's go into the first video. And this woman is, she will tell you who she is. I don't need to tell you. Watch. You know it's a problem. My name when is Miranda. I use she, her pronouns. pronouns. And I'm a licensed professional. Pronoun, she, her. You know it's a problem when it starts like this already. Let's go. She's a license. Listen. Pennsylvania. Mm, mm, mm. Counselor and sex therapist in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today I want to talk about minor attractive persons. You may have noticed that I'm using the term no, no, it's minor not just common as use. Instead of the it more is common pedophilia, it's pedophilia. This okay, that's what they are. They are pedophiles. Okay, the action make it criminal. The act is still criminal. It's still immoral. And don't try to change it. But this is how they start talking. This is what we call double speak. This term simply means that the person has an enduring yes, sexual you don't choose or to not like somebody to minors. Okay, that's a choice. They've not chosen this. They don't just happen by accident.
action, just as the you rest do of get us have choose. not chosen Look at that is a sick whatever our action. That's something you, you have to right away that they need help. But direction. this is the kind of people they go to help. They go to these kind of people for help. Okay, let me tell you, not all counselors are the same. Some of these counselors are just as sick and they need therapy. Okay, some of these counselors are just there to stroke your ego, to make you feel okay with whatever you want to be. That's her. You take your child to this kind of counselor, and this woman will make your child believe anything that child say. She will support it, and she will encourage that child to live their best life, live their truth. So pay attention to the counsel you get. Test them out. Make sure they are sane. They have common sense. This is wrong already. Some minor attracted persons are attracted to a specific age range of minors, while some are not. And some minor attracted persons are exclusively attracted to minors and are not attracted to adults at all. Some minor attracted persons are the way also explain that. attracted to adults. Okay. Folks, my name She's is Miranda. Every one of us. This woman is licensed. She's currently practicing therapy constantly. And she is explaining something that is against the law as if it's the most normal thing. Pedophilia is not a sexual orientation. It's a crime. It's a sickness. It's a sickness and it's a crime. All right? But this, this, this is a licensed counselor practicing today. Children and adults go to these kind of people. Be warned. Let's check out the next video. Okay, let's get this one. I believe it was it's a news with a professor talking. So this is academics. That is the practicing therapist, the last video. This is an academics. Okay, this is a person is a practicing, this is a professor, current professor. at 5.30 and Old Dominion University professor is taking a lot of heat. Alan Walker said the word yeah. pedophile of should crime, be used to refer to people who are attracted to children, children because it comes with a population. stigma. Well, it should come with a stigma. We cannot condone nor can we normalize criminal behavior and evil act of abuse, sexual evil act towards, towards and against children. Wow. It pisses me. This is oof. Bullshit. You get aroused. That's act. Walker also said people can be attracted to children without acting on it. Dana Smith has more on what the professor said and the mm. response from Walker and the community. The controversy surrounding Old Dominion University professor Dr. Alan Walker centers around their it argument that not everyone who is attracted Pay to children people. will abuse the children. The vast majority of these people is white. This is white culture. So be very careful when it's coming in the black community, immigrant community. This is a white culture. This is a predominantly white man. The professor and the people that is going to even support their allies, who again, will be what? Pay attention to that. Uh, people are just born with this condition. In an interview with the Prostasia Foundation, Walker said the term minor attracted people or MAPS, should be used to describe people who are attracted to children. It's less stigmatizing than other terms yes, like yes, pedophile. It is. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't uh, true, and it leads to a can, lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. But not everyone sees it that way. Children. See, they're using this word, minors. That's, how, that's, that's, that's what we call academic speak, you know, therapy speak. Professor, we use this all the time in, in social work, in, in, in my master's program. Okay, when we're talking about, you know, black people, they say under privilege, uh, under value, under the veteran community. We're not talking about black and my Latino poor community. That's what this professor is doing. That's what all of these people are doing. 
they call minors but when they say that in your head they want you to psychologically subconsciously think a minor is anybody between the age of like zero you know to like 17 years old but these people are not talking about 17 years old 12 years old. they're talking about children between the age of two to like eight years old children but they use the word minors because you associate with something else actually they make you they want you to associate way, they want you including to associate people on that campus, language like right with decision making ability children cannot consent ever but this is the mess up concept you see this become very contradictory this become a trap for the lgbtq community because and the q the q community the trans community because children cannot consent that we agree that children cannot consent to sexual act but then how can children consent to medical castration taking hormones okay that will change that sex how can kids be a self how we can be acceptable for children young girls to have abortion to seek therapy you have without their family and their parents go to gender reassignment gender identity gender reaffirming counseling and services without their parents permission See, one minute see, but this is this is what these people are using that's how what happened when you try to be sympathetic and you try to be kind and nice to people see sympathy gets you this empathy gets you to understand that plot gets you to give them information and resources for them to get the help they need sympathy just allow you to this is what happened they want you to be sympathetic it is pathetic Andrew Lombakis, president of the ODU College Republicans. I'm actually uh, thinking about planning a peaceful protest against Alan Walker. In the interview, Walker stressed no, child is, sexual right? abuse is never okay. They explained there is a difference between what? attraction and behavior. Walker said there is no morality attached to attraction because that's something we can't help. The Prostagia Foundation's executive director, Jeremy Malcolm, agrees. What experts like Dr. Walker are saying is that telling oh, these people that they are inherently bad and it's only counterproductive is counterproductive okay. criticism about walker's comments prompted to odu and walker sick individualities to actually live out their sick demented twisted fantasy that's the only counterproduction need counterproduction year wow these people will openly state this one to release statements over the weekend. The statement from the university reads, an academic community plays a valuable role in the quest for knowledge. A vital part of this is being willing to consider scientific and other empirical data that may involve controversial issues and perspectives. For their part, Walker said, child sexual abuse is an inexcusable crime. The goal of my research is to prevent crime. I embarked on this research in hopes of gaining understanding of a group that previously has oh, not been studied in order to identify, identify ways, to, ways protect to protect children. children. Dana While Smith, also normalizing the behavior, normalizing, bringing this in the mainstream. That's what's happening. So,